The first comment comes from Kryptonic HD. He says, I think people complain about YouTube because it used to be simpler, but now there are more options, and with those options, they know whether or not you're interesting enough to stick around. Can't just be a face. Gotta have a personality to make people stick around. High quality content helps for sure. Kryptonic, thank you very much for the comment. I think you raise a very good point, and I agree. It has gotten significantly more difficult to succeed on YouTube over the last 5, 10 years. The competition is insane now. You can't just make good content. As I mentioned one or two weeks ago, you also need to have incredibly enticing titles. You have to have amazing thumbnails. You need to have the best editing. You need to have cold opens and then tie it back. And then every 30 seconds say, don't forget to subscribe. And then have a little, oh, pfft, little fart button that pops up and says, give me a thumbs up. You have to do so much stuff. <laughs> I want to do that now. <laughs> a little fart button pops up. <laughs> don't forget to fart. <laughs> I am a child. This is ridiculous. But yes. The competition is steep. I look at other audio channels and I see what they're doing. I see that they are playing the game that YouTube has set up. Also, sorry for the plosive. I try not to pop this microphone, but I got one. One of them in there so far. I see them. I see the audio channels making sure they have their face in the thumbnail because having your face in the thumbnail, apparently, through analytics, shows that it has a higher click-through rate. I see audio channels removing timestamps from their descriptions to try to increase watch time. I understand that is better for you because higher watch time tells YouTube, hey, this is a great video, give it to more people. I saw one audio channel whose thumbnails were Mr. Beast-esque. I would never say as good as Mr. Beast because nobody's thumbnails will ever be or have been, I should say. But this audio channel's thumbnails were Mr. Beast-esque. And their views were illustrative of how effective that can be. <laughs> so I understand exactly why they are doing that. With that being said, I have said this many times before. My approach to YouTube is pretty much counter to what you should be doing on YouTube if you want to succeed. First, titles. My titles are not enticing. I don't have, you won't believe this microphone, whoop a deep a deep It doesn't have, this microphone's crazy. Best microphone under, none of that. Sure, SM7B review slash test versus SM58, SM57. There's nothing enticing or intriguing about that. You know exactly what you're going to get. It creates no mystery. It creates no incentive for somebody not looking for that content to click on it. That's why people create enticing titles. You're trying to get somebody to feel this need, this desire to click on your video. I don't do that most of the time. Then we have my thumbnails, my amazing, totally clickable thumbnails. What are they? A silverish whitish background with the item that I'm reviewing and then a little piece of red text. I don't have the, oh my God, face on it. I don't have my face in the vast majority of my thumbnails, which some would say does make them more clickable because this thing ain't clickable, boys. <laughs> ain't gonna work. So... <laughs> I don't have that. And that ultimately decreases the click-through rate of my videos, which makes the YouTube algorithm say, hey, this channel sucks. People don't like the videos. Let's not distribute it as much. And then we have one of the dumbest things I do, which I think is one of the best things that I do. It's something that I have been doing since 2017, 2016, before they even put the chapter markers in the timeline. What am I talking about? Of course, it is the timestamps. When I was researching gear, I would go to a 15-minute review looking for one piece of information. Could I find it? No, never. Did they have it in the videos? I have no idea. It was a 15-minute video. I wanted 10, 15, 20 seconds of information. Couldn't find it. 
So my goal was always, I want to give people the exact information they're looking for. If somebody wants to hear how much background noise from a keyboard this microphone picks up, they will watch 20, 30 seconds of my video and move on. That also tells the YouTube algorithm, crappy video, don't show it to anybody. All of these things that I do, in my opinion, make for a better viewing experience for the people watching my videos. And the algorithm, it harms my channel. They are counter to what you ought to be doing to succeed on the platform. So I understand why a lot of audio channels, why a lot of people, a lot of content creators on the platform do what they do. I understand why they make the, the, uh, face. I understand why they create the question in the title because it creates a need, a desire to click on that video and find the answer. I understand why people remove the timestamps from their videos because that will force people, maybe not force, but it will incentivize people to watch more of the video to find the one piece of information they're looking for. I get why they do it. I understand they are trying to play the game that YouTube wants them to play. I don't want to play it. I'm not going to. Does it harm my channel? Absolutely. Do I care? Maybe a little bit, but if the channel dies, who cares? <laughs> it's a YouTube channel. I did what I set out to do. I made the videos that I wanted to see that weren't being made at that time. Now they are cool. I could stop and there would still be people making those videos and succeeding and doing great things. And then if I ever wanted to research a microphone, I know that now there will be 50 of them that I could watch and get the information that I need. But don't, don't you dare think I'm disappearing this easy. Not a chance I am going to fight to the end. I'm going to start doing the clickbaity titles and thumbnails. Ah! <laughs> What if I did that for a month? That would be a fun experiment. Maybe we should do that. I am disclosing this here, and you let me know if that would be a fun experiment. Just play the exact game that YouTube wants people to play. I want to see how many people get angry at me, and I want to see what kind of impact that has on the channel. Does it have a marked impact, a positive impact on the channel? Does it have a negative impact on the channel? What happens when you go from sterile thumbnails and descriptive or exact titles and timestamps allowing people to get the information concisely? What if you abandon all that to play the game? That would be a fun experiment for one month, then go back to the same thing that I always do. <laughs> all right. That is my response there. Thank you very much. I agree. Competition is difficult. You need to be amazing at making content. You have to have a great personality, great thumbnails, great titles, great editing, great sound, everything. Everything needs to be perfect. So be perfect, scrubs.